hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited that you are here so guys I don't know about you but with me I do so well on my diet throughout the day until it's like evening time and I'm relaxing I'm watching TV I'm chilling that's when I find that I do the most eating of the day I could have had dinner and before but I just find that when I'm sitting there watching TV I just reach for some of these or this and that just blast my diet to smithereens and so I was trying to come up with a solution like you know because I know that a minute on the lips is a lifetime on the hips so I'm trying to avoid that trap so I realized you know what they talk about is true you know the idle hands are the devil's workshop and so I was like okay I've got to come up with a good solution that you know will keep away the pounds and still keep me happy and satisfied so I figured you know what in today's video I'm gonna talk to you about the solution that I've come up with what I've really found out is that as long as my hands are busy I'm okay I don't have to think about eating but like as soon as my hands are just laying in my lap honey I am going to the fridge okay so let's trade in this candy for this candy I'm candy how about that right I'm candy so today in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make bracelets just like this this one that I have here is from Jessica Simpson and it's just uh, a cute little leather strap and then it's got some little bling bling here everybody loves some bling and then this one I actually love this one I gravitate towards it quite a bit because it's just really earthy it's just a strip of leather and then it's just got a buckle so I'll show you uh, how we're gonna make this today are you guys excited I hope you are and then uh, the third one is really similar it's just this uh, it says fearless and so I mean you can even use this right as life affirmations when you're trying to talk yourself into doing something hey you just looked out and your bracelet will say you're fearless and hey honey you'll be fearless okay so and I mean this this stuff is really popular if you've seen the Suicide Squad movie uh, from last year you saw how Harley Quinn had the pudding uh, choker and so you can even do that with with this idea that I'm gonna show you now so let's get started okay so first things first you're going to need like a strip of leather I just have like a extra strip here that you can get this from like you could use an old belt you could use an old handbag that you no longer need and you are trying to repurpose because you know I'm all about saving the point honey okay I don't want you to rush out there and buy a whole bunch of stuff you got pretty much most of the stuff already laying around so this is just an old strip of leather nothing special to cut the leather you're going to need scissors of course or if you don't have scissors you could even use a razor just a regular old razor here here we go I have this exacto knife I just got this from uh, the garage I'm sure somebody you guys have it or even like you know the razors the straight razors that we have to like trim our eyebrows you could use that as well and then I have a hole punch you don't need a hole punch if you don't have a hole punch you could just use a nail and uh, a hammer and just hammer the nail into the leather and then lastly I have this um, pliers they're like just strong pliers that I'm going to use to attach the clasp but we'll come up with some ideas for if you don't have something like this also 
So let's get started, guys. So first, what I've done is I've measured my leather. I don't know if you can see that faint yellow line. I've kind of just figured out like how thick I want the leather to be. And so I'll just start cutting and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's cut. Just a second. So basically what you do is you measure out uh, the thickness of how you want your bracelets to be. I've kind of just measured mine, just eyeballed it kind of. And just take your scissors and just snip the leather and just try to make it as even as possible. Mine has some little imperfections here, but it will work. It will give it character, honey. That's what we'll call it. So what you would do next is I just generally like kind of put it around my wrist and you want it to overlap a little bit. And you could make, you could make it uh, go around twice if you wanted to, if you had enough leather, but I don't. So in this case, I'm just going to eyeball it kind of like this and just kind of see where I want it to be right about here. If you are like the meth kind, the anal kind, and you just got to measure something, measure your wrist and then add two inches on top if you want. I, I just like to wing it honey I just like to play it by the ear so just snip and then I'm just going to kind of round the edges because I like my edges rounded I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a finished look so I just round the edges a little bit And there we go. And then for my embellishments, you can choose whatever embellishment you want. In this case, I'm going for like a little bling bling. So putting my letters on. Okay, you see that? If not you, then who, honey? It's gotta be you, right? So, I got my little embellishment on already. Now, I just need to think about how I want to clasp it. I have uh, two choices here. I can either do these little snaps, and you can just get this at your local craft store, or like a uh, showing uh, a sewing place they usually have these uh, snaps or fasteners we call them or if you don't have that you can just take a cute little piece of string contrasting color matching color you could even cut the string off of the leather that you're using and use that as a tie and so here I'm trying it on my U bracelet and kind of gauging where I want the clasps to go. And I think I just have like a little bit of an inch or so uh, over, overlapping. So kind of like this. And so you just would take your marker and just kind of mark so that you know, so that you can kind of remember where it was. This will come off. 
if you want so and then I'll just take my hole punch right here and make sure it's kind of centered guys because it will look a lot better obviously if it's centered and just punch there we go hole number one and then just in case you want it a little bit more loose And again, I just put the, the ends together so I can make sure that the holes are, the, uh, holes are overlapping. Punch another hole on the other side. There we go. So just here we go. So guys, if you didn't have um, any other type of clasp. I would just have my little string coming through like this. Like this. And I would just use that as the tie. And you, th there we go. Or if you want to be snazzy like me, <laughs> or if you have these uh, little snaps, you would just apply them to your bracelet. Here, I have already attached one side of the snap. As you can see and then with the second part this is the part that will snap uh, onto the other side so I just put it together like so and then grab my tool and just center it on so guys here is the finished project It's just a cute little leather bracelet that says you and I just put two snaps in the back uh, in case sometimes you want to wear it loose and that's it so guys this is super super easy easy peasy lemon squeezy you can have this done in like 10 minutes 15 minutes max you will be done with this project and it makes a great great a craft project with your kids um, just something to for you guys to spend time doing together it makes a great gift 
for that co-worker you know where you can just you know give them a nice little bracelet that says snarky or sly you know it makes a great mother-in-law gift and I'll let you uh, decide what you would say to her but I'm sure it's gonna be something great and nice like love or you know something cute like that right <laughs> and yeah, I kid guys I kid no snarky comments no sly little jabs in there I was just playing you would say something really nice like she's super fly bad bougie you know something really cute for your friends right anyway I digress thank you so much for watching you guys have a great evening and please rate comment and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video thank you Bye.